I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. Hey, welcome to The Chill Spot. I'm Corinne, and I have LaShondra with me from the Missouri Veterans Home of St. James. Drake is still out in Michigan, so we still send our loves and hugs and kisses your way. Um, today, we felt it was very important to talk about flood safety. Uh, we want to send all of our prayers to the CNAs that are in Missouri and into Arkansas and also to Oklahoma. So today um, we are gonna be talking about some flood safety. Please take a moment to listen to some of the advice that we will be sharing. Some of these I had no idea um, to, to be aware about. So we're gonna jump right in. So LaShondra, I just heard a flood warning. What am I gonna do? What well, am I gonna do? You wanna remain calm. Okay. And then you want to stay wherever you're at unless you're told to evacuate. Mm -hmm. And then you want to move to a higher ground or a higher floor. This is very critical. You know, you want to make sure you have an exit and stay out of an attic. Look that at is, that water. Yes. That, is, that is unbelievable. It is sad. I believe that is Jefferson City yes. at the airport. Yes, it is. That is, that's unreal. That is, I really feel for the ones that Oh, are you should see when I'm driving area, up there. That bad. The water is right there at the edge of the road. It's yeah. terrible. And I know you do not want to walk, swim, or drive through the floodwaters. No. Um, please do not let your children play in it or drink it. Mm. You know, because you can tell your kids a million times, don't do it, but they're going to do it. And do not push your wheelchairs through the floodwaters. If you have to evacuate, um, please use precaution and carry them if, if you're able to. Because six inches of moving water, like you see on this picture, I mean, and you see the vehicle, and we're actually going to talk about vehicle safety in a minute, yes. but six inches of moving water can make you off balance and cause you to fall. And in this picture, um, you see a vehicle in the water, and one of the ways that you can prevent that from happening is do not drive through the floodwaters. You want to stay away from the bridges, and everyone knows this, or should know this, turn around and don't drown. One foot of water can sweep your vehicle away. So if you find yourself trapped in a vehicle, um, you want to uh, remain calm, first of all. You wanna to try to get a window down, but if that water is really um, rising inside that vehicle, you wanna seek safety on top of a roof. And then if you're in a building, you wanna to go to the highest level of the building. Um, if the water's rising, you may have to evacuate to the roof. Mm -hmm. Do not use an elevator. And then after a flood, mm -hmm. listen for information and instructions. Mm -hmm. And then you return home when authorized. Do not touch electrical equipment if wet. That's one of the things. I mean, I should know that, but that's one of the yeah, things. Yeah, it's hard to, that you don't think about no, it when you. you don't. So I imagine if you have a chance, you would want to unplug them maybe too. I don't know. I, I guess either way, they're going to get wet. Yes. Okay. And then uh, don't drink the water. <laughs> <laughs> but um, please be aware of all of your weather um, advisories. Most deaths do occur by people not taking um, precautions, not watching for the flash flood warnings and everything as well. Because even in a flash flood, you can go out and look at your, your creek, um, your streams, your drainage channels, and yes. they could be fine for that moment. But as soon as you go back inside, they could be up and they can become um, very deadly. So please remember to turn around and don't drown. Stay tuned to all of your weather channels. Listen to your radio. And please stay safe. And again, all of our prayers. Um, if there's anything that we can do for you, please reach out to us. Even if you want to tag us and just say, hey, I'm in this town and I'm okay. We would really like to know that our members are safe as well as our elderly um, residents that could be in harm's way. 
But some of these pictures that I'm looking at, they, it breaks my heart. It does, because it could be us, you know? It does. This could happen at um, any time. So please remain, um, please remain safe. Um, remember that you got this. A CNA is trained for all types of emergencies. Yes. So like LaShondra mentioned earlier, please remain calm. Uh, remember your safety guidelines, your safety rules. Reach out and support your other CNAs at this time. And um, let us know how you're doing. And till then, we come back and see you. Remember that you matter, I matter, and you definitely matter out there.